Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray the second glorious mystery of the Holy Rosary this morning, offering this for our particular needs, the needs of our nation at this time, and the needs of the parish family. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, from the grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, from the grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This truly is a martyr who shed his blood for the name of Christ, who did not fear the threats of judges, but attained the heavenly kingdom. Today is the memorial of Saint Callistus, Pope, martyr of the church, martyred in the year 222. The Mass this morning is offered for the intentions of Phil and Margaret Johnson. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Let us pray. O God, who raised up Pope St. Callistus, the first to serve the Church and attend devoutly to Christ's faithful departed, Strengthen us, we pray, by his witness to the faith, so that, rescued from the slavery of corruption, we may merit an incorruptible inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever.
A reading of the letter from St. Paul to the Galatians. If you are led by the Spirit, no law can touch you. When self-indulgence is at work, the results are obvious. Fornication, gross indecency, and sexual irresponsibility, idolatry and sorcery, feuds and wrangling, <coughs> jealousy, bad temper and quarrels, disagreements, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies and similar things. I warn you now, as I warned you before, those who behave like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. What the Spirit brings is very different. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There can be no law against things like that, of course. You cannot belong to Christ Jesus unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Since the Spirit is our life, let us be directed by the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade. All that he does shall prosper. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind, for the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said to the Pharisees, Alas for you Pharisees, you who pay your tithe of mint and rue and all sorts of garden herbs and overlook justice and the love of God. These you should have practiced without leaving the others undone Alas for you Pharisees, who like taking the seats of honour in the synagogues and being greeted obsequiously in the market squares. Alas for you, because you are like the unmarked tombs that men walk on without knowing it. A lawyer then spoke up. Master, he said, when you speak like this, you insult us too. Alas for you, lawyers also, he replied, because you load on men's on men burdens that are unendurable, burdens that you yourselves do not move a finger to lift. The Gospel of the Lord.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that blessed Callistus professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are clean, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, the Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Callistus and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. 
In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children and scattered them out the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother received you and with the spirit and fervour of the saints. the body of Christ.
Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Let us pray. Made new by these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that imitating the wondrous constancy of blessed Callistus, we may merit an eternal reward for suffering endured through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Callistus, Holy Guardian.